Hi guys, welcome back to Changing Motion. So it's been a minute since I've been here and I wanted to just check back in with you guys. Where we left off last, we were approaching a water fast and the water fast, I wanted to give you guys an update. The water fast just did not go as I planned. Um, my body was not happy with the approach that I took. I thought I was going about everything the way that I should because I did uh, do as I instructed with uh, some material that I'm going to share again, which was uh, the first few days before embarking upon the water fast, I started to um, I started to eat only fruit and vegetables, very small uh, portions of fruit and vegetables. I wouldn't really say uh, not so small that you know you're not satisfied but it keep in mind that we're getting ready to fast so I wasn't really fixing any large uh, portions but I noticed that you know I received I started getting the headache which is something that we normally will expect the first one to two days um, but then besides that the other thing that happened was I started feeling weak again and it's sort of like that weakness in your legs like jet lag when you are um, when you've been riding on a plane so what I discovered while I was trying to figure out you know what is happening why is this continuing to happen I started um, just it popped in my mind electrolytes and I thought about drinking some Gatorade or Powerade to um, get those electrolytes in because after all when you're fasting uh, particularly with like water fasting and toxins and things are coming out of your body so as I was saying the toxins are coming out of your body but also the necessary salt is coming out of the body so just in case um, someone isn't really familiar with electrolytes, um, your body requires different electrolytes in different amounts to achieve proper electrolyte balance. This is necessary on a continuous basis considering that electrolytes have a role in almost every process in the body including digestion of food, production of enzymes and hormones metabolism, your thought processes, exercise, learning, feeling and touching among others. And electrolyte imbalance can occur if your body doesn't have the right amount of one or more electrolytes. And for example, you could experience an electrolyte imbalance uh, if you are, uh, if you have excessive sweating from like exercising, if you've been vomiting, or if you have diarrhea, if you're high blood pH, um, if you have high blood pH, and if you use some laxatives or diuretics or even steroids. And I just wanted to share that information with you guys because it's um, important to think about when you stop eating food, you're not getting the salt, that sodium, the sodium that's in the food that's being removed from your body when you're fasting so uh, one of the things that I discovered was that uh, doing something like a intermittent fast instead of just going from eating a regular diet right into a water fast an intermittent fast is something that is very popular and very productive uh, with the intermittent fasting, what you're doing is you're going to pick a window of time that you're going to eat and a window of time that you're fasting. In case people aren't aware, you're already fasting every day now. Whenever you go to sleep and then you wake back up the next morning, you have fasted during that time you were sleeping until that next meal. So for beginners, what you could do is you could start off skipping breakfast and eating lunch. And that would extend that window of time that you're fasting. Um, once you, um, you know, once you start to 
become a little bit more familiar with fasting, then you can decide on whether or not you would like to uh, say fast all the way until dinner time or something like that. One of the things that I've done with my intermittent fasting uh, that I found to be helpful, which is what I'm going to be doing um, when I'm participating in intermittent fasting, I choose a window from like noon until 6 p.m. Uh, it usually depends on how the day is going. Sometimes you might not eat dinner until 7 or 8. So some people will choose noon to 8 because it gives them an 8-hour window of eating. I choose uh, per se noon to 6 because I'm trying to train my body not to look for food after 6 p.m. So... I don't want the video to get too much longer where you guys are not going to uh, stay attentive, but I just wanted to share that before embarking upon the water fasting and starting to feel those headaches, uh, the jittery feelings like that, uh, that was kind of what I was trying to describe with your legs, where your legs really start to feel really weak, as if you've been riding a bike and you didn't have any food or anything and you you know you just started working out on an empty stomach you have that weak feeling so to avoid these things I'm recommending that you guys would try to um, try intermittent fasting choose a window and then also uh, some people in their water they will put a little salt or they'll use cucumbers or they will use lemon um, those are some of the things that I recommend as well. Your water, you're just starting out your water. Um, it's good to have something there uh, to help you out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to leave that uh, information for you guys. And don't forget to click and subscribe. Bye now.